I heard this story yesterday and I couldn't quite believe it. Mm. Um, a war is brewing between a Sydney bowling club and its neighbours. Yeah. A formal warning now issued after repeated noise complaints from old fuddy-duddies. <laughs> um, these include music playing before 7pm. What? Lawn bowling and even noise from a jumping oh castle. Oh, my goodness. And also the noise from a pressure washer. Carl, the world has gone mad. Mm. General manager of the Warringah Bowls Club, Leon Peak, joins us now in Sydney. And this club has been around for 120 years. Why this issue all of a sudden? It's been since COVID, uh, since we've been coming back into normal trade after COVID, because we were so quiet before, during COVID, it's now coming back to normal trade and they're starting to notice the noise a lot more. Oh, but it's just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> what kinds of, I've outlined a couple of them, but just to reiterate, what kinds of noise complaints have you had from the Chardonnay drinking uh, people who live <laughs> near your beautiful bowling club? <laughs> Oh, okay, so we've had complaints about young children on the greens. They don't like the kids running around and the noise of the kids. You're... They mm -hmm. are really... <laughs> they don't like um, the idea of the bands. I've had noise complaints because... preemptively about bands, just because they've heard that there might be a band on on a Sunday. Um, I've had noise complaints about the pressure washer when we're cleaning, cleaning the grounds. Noise complaints about the, the greenkeeper running his lawnmower across the greens and maintaining our greens. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, it, 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 I mean, <laughs> have you tried talking to them or are they complaining about that too? So the previous two general managers have tried talking to them. When I took over, I was approached by one of the neighbours. I asked to sit down and do a town hall and she said no. Um, they have a WhatsApp group where I asked to join the WhatsApp group so I could tell them what we were doing in advance. Mm. And I was told no. That was there for them to strategize. Oh, this, this is absolute <laughs> BS. Oh, nothing gets me more angry. Um, you know, and, and it'd be a couple of people, um, the rest of the community, and your your lawn bowls club. There is a great sense of yes, community, bringing lovely. everyone together. And you've got a couple of wowsers like the Lord's cricket guys. Um, you know, just sitting there doing nothing with their lives, <laughs> with nothing more to do um, than to complain about the noise from a mower. I mean, come on, this must do your head in. And also, you've got to make money. Mm. We do. Um, we're at a position where bowl, lawn bowls as a sport is an ageing sport. And we, we had plans to do a, a kids' um, school holiday camp to start doing grassroots. But we're having to ha sit back and actually look at not doing that anymore because of the noise complaints because they don't like the sound of the balls, the bowls, sorry, uh, clinking on the green. You're joking. Um, That's ridiculous. These, yeah. these people, who, who are they? I mean, this and is ridiculous. We... You, it's, also... it's three neighbours. You also, though, Leon, you've actually put in measures, put measures in place to try and prevent the noise pollution, as they claim. We have. We've, we've erected a, a, a pavilion with soundproofing so that the, along the side, the bottom green, that people can enjoy their time down there without making too much noise. We've spent uh, like over $100,000, which we couldn't afford, mm. in soundproofing our, our function room, um, restricting what we're doing so that, like we don't do 18ths, we don't do 21st, we don't do bucks parties, just because we don't want to upset the neighbours. Gee, it's hard for you, uh, and, and, and you've got a great staff there. It's mm. a great club. Um, this is happening right around the country now, um, where, where three people can hold to ransom yeah. a great community event, and I just think it's disgusting. They don't like the sound of balls clinking. At a lawn balls club. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's laughable. Funny how that happens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, all the very best with it. We um, should have our Christmas party we're, there. We're going to have our yeah. Tonight Show Christmas party there. Yep. And, and, we're, and we're going to get Jimmy Barnes in to sing. Please do. <laughs> uh, and it'll start at 7pm. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. All right. um, good, on, good on you. Thanks for, for fighting the fight. And best of luck with it all. Let us know how you go, huh? <sighs> Thank you so much. Brookie. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?